So today's goal is simple. We are just going to walk as far as we possibly can, and anytime we see something delicious, we are going to stop and order two. <laughs> So we are at Mercado Medellin and just wandering around. Now somehow we've ended up with chicharrones. We can't go five feet in this country without eating something. That's it. Oh Alyssa was walking by and this guy was handing out samples of chicharrones. And they have some that is like almost like chicharron jerky. So many different ones. So we're getting, I have no idea how amount she just pointed. And the guy was nice enough to help us out. So now we're getting chicharrones. <laughs> So we walked into this market and we ended up with this gigantic chicharron. And if you don't know what a chicharron is, it is the fried skin of a pig, which sounds weird, but it's not. And if you've gotten it in America, you probably get it in a bag like this. But the best part is when they leave a little bit of that fat on it and it's so juicy with the crunch. So we got this, this was 20 pesos, which is such a deal. I think that these are our first chicharrones since Barcelona, Spain. If you haven't seen our Europe series, we spent 100 days living and traveling in Europe, eating all the chicharrones that Spain had to offer. They did have quite a few different types there that you could just get the skin on the outside, but we wanted one with a little bit of meat in, and this is the way to go. This is the best part. It's definitely a snack worth getting. If you go into the markets, it's gonna be a little bit cheaper and fresher. And he gave us some samples which we got to try the meatier part, which it's like less fried, I think, fattier. It's like a pig jerky. It's like the best way I can describe the taste of it. It's amazing though. It is a little bit salted too. So like there's an added salt flavor to it. I'm gonna try and bite this without it breaking all over the place. <laughs> mm. it is so good. Fatty, juicy, greasy, crunchy deliciousness. It's amazing. right in the center of the Zocalo and I saw this lady with something that I've tried once before and I didn't remember if I liked it or not but we had it in Chapultepec Park but this is a Tlayuda de Nopal. This is different than the Tlayudas in Oaxaca so it's a crispy blue corn tortilla sort of made like a pizza. There's black bean sauce on there, roasted nopales which are cactus, some salsa picante, some onions, uh, some cilantro, and I asked for it extra spicy, so she gave us a generous helping of that hot sauce. This has so much going on, I need another bite to get my bearings. That was such a big bite. This is absolutely crazy. The blue corn has a super earthy flavor to it. I don't even know how to describe it, but it's unique. And the bean puree that they have on there is very flavorful, and it moistens everything up. The nopales are the star of the show for sure. They have a nice bite to them and a little acidity. It's a little cheesy, onion, and that salsa is amazing. Mexico City is like famous for having some of the most spicy salsa in all of the world. And everywhere we go, it's typically like two or three notches spicier than you would ever get. So the like tortilla or the crisp or whatever it comes from, tastes like it's like healthy. It's like a wheat, blue corn, healthy chip. But the last one that we had, like years ago, we had outside of the zoo here, and it didn't have onions on it, and I love the onions on it. Also, not very often do we get cactus, and I love the nopales, they're so good. The salsa is really spicy. All of the... <laughs> mm. The shirt, ruined, hand, ruined. <laughs> 40 pesos. which is a corn on the cob. And we asked for it with everything, which if you saw our Cabo Mexico video, 
in Cabo, they have a bunch of different hot sauces that you can add to it. Here, they only have powdered hot sauce, but it is very rare in Mexico City to find corn on the cob grilled. Usually, it's just boiled. So we were super excited when we found this one grilled. It comes with mayonnaise, cotija cheese, and a powdered hot sauce. I'm just excited that it's grilled and it's big. All right, I've already spilled on my shirt today, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm just gonna dig right in. Let me feel if it's hot. Okay, not too hot. It was sitting on the charcoal though. Sometimes you can bite into it and it can be so hot. Mmm. Oh, it's juicy. Mmm. It's super different than the one I've had. Because there's no, like, liquid hot sauce, it's a little bit more powdery. And I don't think that she put lime on it either. So there's no none of that tang. Uh, the pepper, it's just like a chili powder, not too spicy. The mayonnaise is really great though. And the cheese is delicious. Let's go! <laughs> when you bite it, it all like falls off. Mm. The powder hot sauce is good. The butter and crema, look how huge the kernels are. They're way bigger than our normal corn. So we have tried elote in Mexico City before, and it always seems a little bit drier. Like the kernels don't burst with that juice that they normally have. Like on Baja side and they don't have as many toppings, no lime. So I would say that this is definitely a snack that's worth having, but just know that there are better options out there throughout Mexico. But on the go, you can't really beat this. taking a break from eating and have made our way to Chapultepec Castle. It is only 90 pesos to enter. You walk up this big hill. There's amazing vistas up here and this castle is cannot miss when you visit Mexico City. The castle is in the middle of Chapultepec Park, which is the largest park in all of Mexico. It's even bigger than Central Park in New York City. There are a ton of public parks all throughout Mexico City, and most of them have bathrooms that are really nice and really well kept up, but you do need coins for them, so it's good to keep some change on you. Most of them are five pesos, so you just need a five peso coin, and they'll give you toilet paper, and you can go in and use it. There is a totally free zoo, and it is right in the center of Chapultepec Park. Even if you're not going to the zoo, it's worth walking all the way down to the huge lake in the center of the park and there's just vendors lining the streets there's people shouting whatever they're selling there's clearly marked signs of how much everything costs so you don't have to like bargain with them or anything so this is just one of the amazing snacks that you can get Uh, I got a mango chimango. I don't know what it is. I think it's like a mango icy with chili and tahini, chamoy, and all sorts of good stuff. And it was only 10 pesos, which is like 50 cents ish. Mmm. It's cold, it's sweet, it's salty. There's a little bit of spice. What a random, weird snack in the middle of the park. We're gonna stop to get some churros. Churros are typically a breakfast food and can be found from vendors in your morning traffic commute. It's a bit later in the day, so these are no longer warm, but wow, don't they look so good? There's a lot. <laughs> They're huge too. Wow, these look amazing. Cold crunchy churros. Worth a dollar. quick I know a lot of you were asking us about the safety of Mexico City we have been plenty of times we've just been here a week and we walked almost a hundred thousand steps which is well over 20 miles while we were here and we didn't have any issues whatsoever that doesn't mean that there aren't risks involved anywhere you go even in America but I'm here to tell you that Mexico City is just as safe as any other place 
So we're sitting here in Zona Rosa having a beer, and there's a huge sign that says Marquesitas. I'm not sure what it is, but people are walking by, and it looks amazing. It's like a fried crepe and like a thin crepe in a tube shape, and they stuff it with whatever you want. So we're definitely going to give this a try. There's so many toppings. You can get sweet or savory. There's bacon, pepperoni, cream cheese, chocolate, Nutella, Oreos, fruit, peanut butter. There's so many choices. Oh my gosh. It's so cool. They have this like huge cast iron skillet and they're pouring out individual patties. They're making every single crepe to order. Dude, it is like piping hot, fresh off the griddle. And he seals each individual crepe up with that cast iron expert skill level. This thing is piping hot. And there's also a one dollop of whipped cream, fresh cut to order strawberries, Nutella. Unbelievable, perfect street food. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, it's incredible. It is like a wafer, like the hottest waffle cone you'll ever have. Super crispy, made to order. It only cooks for a few seconds. And there's like a perfect smear of sweets. An incredible dessert. 60 pesos, about three bucks US for this whole thing. Picante? Si, sí, picante. Habanero está bien. Ah, si? Si. We were walking by and I saw this guy with what looked like lightsaber style meat skewers. We couldn't help but hear and see the smoke coming from this stand. And they were serving this mixture of sausage, bacon, pork, and all sorts of meat goodness. And they asked you how spicy you wanted. I said extra spicy. So they put every hot sauce known to man on there. All right, so I limed it up. Let's see what this is all about. Oh man, it really is like a barbecue smorgasbord on a stick. It's absolutely insane. The barbecue sauce is really tangy and sweet and they put habanero hot sauce. I think I've had a bite of a little of everything and this, it's all just fantastic. There's like lean parts of meat with like bacon and sausage. It's like the ultimate feast. So Bob. Uh, I saw this spot that is famous for flautas with fried onions on them. Hopefully we can find it and procure some. They hooked it up with a complimentary caldo, like a uh, consomme. It's so good, it's rich, it's salty and spicy. Lots of chili in there, really good. Okay, so they're sold individually, 20 pesos each. We got four and they come with a thin crema, salsa and cotija cheese. Then they're topped with grilled onions. Is that not the prettiest thing you've ever seen? OMG, look at the onions. I think I'm gonna ask for more salsa though. He kind of skipped because I'm a blonde American. Oh yeah, that is better. Okay, I'm going in. This place is fire. The onions are so unique. That red salsa is really roasted and I actually prefer that one, but they're super crispy. Their crema is really light and the consomme with it is the perfect combination. This place is amazing. That was fabulous. Don't be scared to stop at the food vendors. They're all so happy and excited and I guarantee you it's easier if you're not filming. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It was uh, 90 pesos, so 90 pesos. What a fantastic way to start the day. Yay! So right around the corner from that <laughs> onion flauta spot is a place that serves Eskimos and it's really hard to find, I feel like, in Mexico. We haven't seen them at many places, but it is like a shaved ice milkshake made by hand and they're really phenomenal. We've only had it one time and I'm pretty sure that it was from the same place. We just happened to walk by it. So we're gonna go and see if we can get one. I think this happened last time too. The guy's like sleeping behind the cart. I think we're at like a weird time. It's like 12.30 right now and usually people eat dessert like their frappuccinos and stuff around three. So he's probably just taking a little siesta before the rush comes. I feel too bad to wake him up to make us a uh, He looks Eskimo. so comfy. <laughs> Puedo ordenar un esquimo? Uh -huh. uh, ¿Qué es el sabor más popular? 
Este, pues se vende de todo, el chocolate está muy bueno, fresa. Ok, uh, una mocha, por favor. Mocha con de chocolate y café. Mocha, sí, ¿sí? perfecto, uno por favor. So the Eskimo guy finally woke up and I got this massive mocha. There is like fresh shaved ice in here, maybe a little crema. There's instant coffee as well as some like cocoa powder that they put in there. Man, this is also huge. It's the size of my freaking head. And it was only 20 pesos, only 20 pesos for this huge, huge drink. And he is like working so hard to shave the ice to order. And then they mix it in like an old fashioned milkshake mixer. And it's bubbling over the top because of those instant coffee coffee grounds foaming up, like overflowing. And then he puts it in this giant cup. Man, what a nice guy too. Whoa, creamy. You look like I'm baby. It's so big. Mm. Oh, it's so good. The instant coffee is a game changer. It tastes like a milkshake but a little bit lighter. It's not quite as thick or creamy without the ice cream, but it's more refreshing and you get more of that coffee flavor. I'm making a mess. It's delicious they and have foamy a straw. and frothy. It's better out of the thing. <laughs> mm. It has like chunks of ice in it. Oh, it's like an instant coffee milkshake. This is great. I still can't believe it was only 20 pesos. We got this the last time that we came and we have not been able to find them anywhere else. I don't know if it's like in a different part of the city or a different part of Mexico is where they're from. But if you're going to La Biblioteca de Mexico, make sure to get an Eskimo from the sleeping Eskimo guy. So with this Eskimo, we are all finished eating our way through Mexico City. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Check out our other Mexico travel vlogs because this country has so much good stuff to eat. We'll see you next time. Uh, first, what's it called? Marquesita? La Bomba Maja, Yucateca Bombacita. Rua, I love Mexico. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. <laughs> Me either.